First you have to create a button to delete post. Inside the fourth TD after edit button create a button for delete. Its type should be button, and bootstrap class should be danger, and its size will be small. Attach on click listener and pass two parameters. Post ID and post image, because if the post is to be deleted then its image should also be removed. Create a function named, do delete, with two arguments. Call an Ajax request. and pass these two variables in data object. Create an API root on server.js. This condition should be applied so that only admin can delete the post. But we are commenting this for testing purpose. We will call the unlink function from file system module. We should replace the slash with empty string, so that it will get relative path, and not absolute path. We will be calling remove function and pass the post ID as first parameter. Now you will see it will delete the post from database and will delete the image from folder too. In next tutorial, we will do the delete post real-time effects on user side. So if admin delete the post then it will also be deleted on user side. Without having to refresh the page.